sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how we can download and put on the Raspberry Pi, the Dragon OS. Now, this comes with a lot of different uh, SDR type software and uh, some other things uh, brought to you by the uh, following uh, creator here. Big shout out to them. And if we scroll down, the username is Ubuntu Passwords Dragon, which obviously we can uh, change that. They just updated the most recent uh, OS here. Added some things. Updated, added a couple of things here. And if you go back through this, basically a readme of all the pros progress they made. So... We can click on this guy, and once it's downloaded, you'll want to uh, unzip it, and it turns out that it will give us a <clears throat> an IMG folder, as soon as I can file, I mean, as soon as I can find it. So we have it right here. So once it's unzipped, we're at 4.7 gig. So we're going to open up our Raspberry Pi imager here. And the first thing we need to do is format my SD card. Now I'm using the uh, 32 gig Samsung, the green ones. And... Uh, <clears throat> I installed this before doing this video and it seemed to uh, run pretty good on the Pi, what I did so far, tested out so far. And I'm using the uh, Raspberry Pi, the 4 gig. So anyway, we're going to, to use a custom Dragon Open. And we need to select our SD card, and we need to write it. Now, this might take a while, depending on your computer setup, but uh, we'll be back. All right, so now that that's downloaded and uh, unzipped and put on the SD card, and this is the one that you would want to download, whatever the newest updated uh, version is. We can go ahead and take this out and put it in the Pi and boot it up. All right, so now I logged in uh, locally there and got in and enabled the uh, SSH. But if you don't know how to do that, we can just do a simple... thing here and uh, get in and, and turn on the SSH but I'm also VNC'd into this and we can uh, change the password and the host name right here if you want then your uh, local time zone so first thing we can do is we can do an update just to make sure we get everything here uh, we're going to go ahead and change the uh, background on this just to make it a little easier for you to see all right, so we have some package just update, so we can run that then, upgrade, I mean. But anyway, if we get out here and click on the uh, little icon there, aka start button, we can see a bunch of different things here. This thing is definitely loaded up. Now, it's a little uh, laggy through VNC here. Uh, 
but uh, we can bring up something here. I was running uh, GQRX uh, on it there a little bit ago, and it was running really smooth, really good. So, all right, so I have my RTL plugged in, so we can just select it, hit OK, and bring it up here. And we'll just start this. And as you can see, it's running pretty good. It's not very laggy at all, especially when you're on it locally. So we can just stop that and close. But this thing's loaded up, like I said, it's got a lot of good things on it. G predict, then cube, SDR, direwolf, QSS TV, SDR plus plus, and so on. This is definitely nice if uh, for a beginner. So as you can see, we have the four gig version set and idle here on all four cores. Now this Pi is not overclocked or nothing. So I guess you could do that. But uh, there's that. I didn't want to click on that. Let's bring up this for another thing. And we'll just start this. All right, so we have this one up and running. So that one's running really good. So let's stop that. And let's go back and pull up GQRX again. Because a lot of people do use this. And let's just go ahead and we'll just start it right there. And let's bring up a terminal. And we'll do H top just to see how busy it is. So we definitely got 30 some percent, 40 some percent across all cores. Not too, too bad. Pretty good. A lot better than a Pi 3. So anyway, uh... Hopefully this kind of helps you out, gets you started. And uh, I'll throw a link in the description for the uh, link to download and whatnot. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.